everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tamaya. I thought I would finally film my morning skin care routine, skin routine, skin care routine today because it's sunny outside. I've been kind of waiting for the sunshine. I filmed one when it was gloomy and it's just it's not very, very clear. Also, I was talking to the mirror instead of the camera, so the big portion of it I wasn't really engaging. And I thought I should probably try again. So here I go. I did my hair. I like to put my hair up out of my face and I like to have my neck area available for the oil to go on. I'm going to wash my face now with lukewarm water and finish with a cold and then I'll move on to serum and oil. All right, let's get started. I try not to take all the water off my skin. I just kind of pat it gently so the oil can go on easier and it will soak in better. The first thing I do is use this eye serum. Maybe it's backwards. I'll list all the products in the description. This is from Kahina Living Beauty. So I pat it in. I'm not a expert so please keep that in mind because it's just uh, me doing what I do and then lately I'm trying this prickly pear seed oil just under my eye so if I look away give me nice moisture under my eye area and then I put in, I should maybe pat this in a little bit and then I go to argan oil. I used to get a smaller bottle and until I recently got my hair cut I was putting oil, this oil on the ends of my hair to keep it um, moisturized because it's it was like 60 months of no haircut, so I got a bigger bottle for that purpose. This might be the only skincare routine video because I don't like to switch around. Uh, I just put oil all over to prep for the next step, which is the massage. So I'm 42, so <laughs> I'm trying to lift up upward to prevent the skin I guess from sagging. I don't know what happens but we'll see. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my best to age gracefully. So I go upward and then this is something my great aunt was doing. This is what she did I believe when she woke up like she'll just do this in bed so like this, and then around the mouth, and then I think around the eye, the temple. So this this part I think is what I learned from her, and then also she does this, or she, she used to. She's no longer with us, sadly. She used to pat. And she said this is good for like preventing gum disease, who knows, but I think she had great teeth. Like that. And then it's just me putting oil and massaging. And then the eyebrows, I saw this in a YouTube <laughs> long time ago. I've been doing kind of like a massage from my mid-twenties, I guess, when I learned some of it from my great aunt and my mom was doing it also because she learned from her. This is the part that I spend the most time prepping a skin, just massaging, and then let the blood circulation going. I hit the crown. I just tap the top of my head so 
So it's not just the face. In the shower at night, I like to, when I put the conditioner on, I massage my head. That's like a little spa treatment for myself. This was a Japanese TV show on YouTube that I saw, but they were talking about how important it is to massage this area to prevent wrinkles on your forehead. And I saw that in my early 30s, I think. And then I started doing that in the shower, just massaging all over my head. And especially this area because of the wrinkles on my forehead. I also tap my face, not um, around the eyes, avoiding the eye area. So during the weekdays, I don't have time to be spending too much time because I have to get my kids to school. But so I still do like a quick version, like really quick version, <laughs> because that really wakes me up and then kind of makes me feel ready for the day. So I don't like to skip it. And yeah, so I still do it, but very quick. So I'm definitely spending more time because I'm showing it to you and yeah, but this is not very normal. On the weekends, I try to do a nice version of it because I do have more time. And the earlobe. The earlobes have lots of pressure points, which I learned also from my great aunt. So it's so nice. I do this area. This. And then bring it down. And then move the lymph. This whole area gets so warm. And you can tell circulation is going so I will put maybe some of the oil that's on my hand on the ends of my hair I just got a haircut so the ends are not dry but it's always nice to I guess oil the ends this one is the sunscreen I don't put it on anywhere else on my body, but just the face. I used to do the neck, but then at that time, the product that I was using didn't really feel good on the neck, so I stopped. I never tried it with this. I've been using this since June, I believe, of this year, and I really like it. Um, the one I was using before for like five years, it was getting upgraded and but it was taking a long time, about like six, seven months. So I kind of needed to look for something else. And yep, this is what I found. Manua Hawaiian skincare. It smells like the beach. So I put like this. And now I go to concealer, RMS Beauty, and I'm using non cover up number 11. I'm gonna look at the camera because I cannot see or I have to see. I have an idea of it. I'll put that there. And then I do have thin. Um, a little bit of thin skin around the nose. I believe it's from the steroid use as a child for years and years. So I like to put a little bit under. And on the under eye circle I have, so I do that. Let's just make sure. Okay. And then if I have any remaining, I put it on the cheeks. Next is powder. Oh, I'm gonna actually rinse off 
these things. Hundred percent pure bamboo blur powder. It's just um, bamboo silicone um, is the only ingredient. So I like that that there's just one ingredient. Then a uh, brush from 100% Pure as well. And I try to wash it every other day. So I go like this. Alright, I go to the neck as well. That's it for the skin. I don't know if you're interested in my eyes. I just do eyes. I don't do like blush and eyeshadows and stuff. I just think that I look a little scary so <laughs> I try to just do mascara, eyeliner and this is what I learned from my best friend when I was in high school. She was from Spain and she said one day that I should probably put on some makeup. So she showed me how to do it and I think it's I don't really see anybody doing this way, the eyeliner, but that's what I do. So, alright, let's go. First, for the eyelashes, I'm gonna put my camera here. I don't have many. Uh, and then, I find it easier to put on the mascara if I Call them first. And then this is the messy part. I don't know how to do it really clean. I'll try and do it clean. But you'll see things getting onto my eyelids. This is also 100% pure. And then another 100% pure. These are, I believe, all vegan. So she taught me to do under. It kind of hurts. So I go under and then. Like that. And then I clean up the mess. And then curl my lashes again. I like put on a little bit of lipstick just to give a little color to my face because I think, yeah, otherwise I look kind of pale. This is what I do in the morning to get ready. I think maybe the massage is the part that was interesting, I hope. <laughs> Aside from the hand moisturizing addiction. I had lip balm addiction as well where I needed to apply lip balm every time I ate or wiped my mouth but with the lifestyle change that also ended so yeah another positive things out of this healthy lifestyle is full stable facial skin and no more addiction to lip balm. When it comes to skincare I take the less is more approach and then I used to believe all these things that I read in the cosmetic or like fashion magazines where you need to switch up your products every three to six months or something because your skin gets used to them but I've been using the argan oil and the serum and this kind of like the SPF routine for the last almost four years my skin has been well with using the same products so things that are important for me to keep healthy skin is to eat well, nourish myself from the inside out, and and also yeah, hydrating, like drinking lots of water, herbal teas, and then getting enough sleep, which is <laughs> something I can get better at. I like to stay up late. I've been trying to go to bed earlier. Ideally, I like to be in bed by 10, because 10 to 2 is your golden hour of where your skin is regenerating, but I don't always get to bed at 10. I'm trying to do like between 11 and 12. <laughs> and then uh, movement, like some kind of movement you like. I like um, to row at home, 
do yoga, bar exercise, I also love running in nature and then taking walks. All these things, I think, combined sort of helped me have a healthier skin. I used to depend on the products, like I felt like, oh, like this is not working, I need to switch up. But really, the biggest impact uh, came from changing my lifestyle, not from the products. I hope this was helpful in some ways. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll list the products in the description. I hope you're uh, staying safe and healthy during this time. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you'd like to see more videos or if you like this video, please click thumbs up and then subscribe for future videos if you like to be notified. Thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.